Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemesis. And I know it's been a while, but we didn't really get a lot of news on this movie. But now we got some today, and I'm going to spread it out over the next three videos. So you got this one and two more coming right afterwards. Uh, each one focusing on one of the new images that was released for the new Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City film. And then we'll also talk about some of this IGN article. So as I show an image like this one here, we'll start with Leon and Claire. Um, these are the two actors, the actor and actress that are going to be playing them. I have their names up on screen, Akaya and Yvonne, and uh, they are going to be portraying Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield in Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, which comes out November 24th of this year. That's when it's planned for, for Thanksgiving weekend. But uh, this is the first image we have today. And like I said, I'm going to read some of the article that kind of pertains to this image that is from IGN. I'll put a link to that down below if you want to read the full article. But over this video and the next two videos, I'm going to go over one of the images, play some video game footage from the, you know, the games that feature these two characters. And then we'll, you know, I'll read some of this uh, IGN article. So Buckle in, we got three videos coming at you ASAP, and we're starting with the first one here with this amazing image. Although, I, if I had a critique, and I will have critiques probably on each one of these pictures, this is a minor critique, but it probably has to do with the set um, itself. The walls next to Claire there uh, look, I, I don't know, I'm sure it's a real wall, um, that the pipes look like they might have been added, but it's, I don't know, it, it looked a little... A little on the cheaper side, you know, not to not to harp on anything. I mean, really, that's my only negative. I know other people will probably, you know, have critiques on Avon here who's playing Leon. And they're going to say he doesn't have, like, the right hair color or whatever it's going to be. But we're going to talk about that because the director had some words regarding that. And I kind of lean towards what the director feels on this one. Uh, at least that's my opinion. But obviously, if you have a different one, share it down below. But I think uh, what the director says makes sense to me. And then Kaya here, she looks amazing as Claire Redfield. And the Redfields are my favorite characters, so I'm pumped to see her in action in this movie. So we'll start with, uh, you know, clips from this article here from quotes uh, that are from the director of the film, which is uh, Johannes Roberts. And he's the director of this film. Uh, he's said he was greatly inspired by The Exorcist, The Exorcist 3, Don't Look Now, and The Shining, as far as like, you know, he wanted the town to be constantly in rain and mist. Uh, so that's kind of the approach he had with this movie. Um, he shot everything at night. Every This whole movie was filmed at nighttime. Um, he also wanted Raccoon City to feel a little bit like the town in Deer Hunter, which is kind of like a ghost town that was forgotten by the rest of the world. And then structure-wise, he wanted the film to feel like Assault on Precinct 13, which is a great movie by John Carpenter that has an ensemble cast. And that's what he's doing here. He's combining the stories of Resident Evil 1 and 2, which, like I said, could be done well and it could be a, a train wreck. But I'm open to see what the film shows us and how they deliver that, because I think it can be done if you do it smartly. And it sounds like he's at least trying to take those steps to do the smart thing here uh, from the director. So I'll have some quotes here. He says, uh, first off, the, the, you know, the difference from this film as opposed to the previous films that were starring Mila Jovovich and directed mostly by Paul W. Sanderson is that this is an ensemble cast where each of the main characters carries a huge importance to the narrative. So I like that he said that, and he's going to get into more of that too later on when we get to the Lisa Trevor video, and then when we get into the, the next video with the stars members. Um, but here he says, uh, you know, Johannes continues, they are not just cosplay characters who have the exact hair and costume of the characters, he said. Um, it was hugely important to him with the whole casting process to find people who embodied the spirit and energy of the characters that he wanted to portray. I think often in game adaptations, one of the big flaws can be just casting someone to look visually like the characters, which he's right. If you look at the other Resident Evil movies with Miljovic, they had like uh, someone who played Leon in like the fifth movie and they just cast him because he kind of looked like Leon. He had long blonde hair and, you know, and he was like kind of in good shape and stuff and tall and, you know, whatever. And he, I mean, it was terrible. I'm no offense to that actor, but, uh, but that movie was awful all around and everyone was just kind of cosplaying and they were characters in name only, but they did nothing that was very character like uh, that reminisced the game and I like that he says that so giving them he continues to say giving them the identical haircut and clothes but not really trying to give the audience the thing that a movie does better than a game which is to create a three-dimensional character that you can really connect with and believe in so you know and this is obviously his opinion uh, I think some video games do have pretty well rounded characters a lot of times but sometimes it's because you make the choices for the characters and so you imprint yourself on that so I kind of know what he means or what I, I think he means in this one um, but yes movies can give us 3D uh, three dimensional characters but if you look at something like Mortal Kombat which came out recently uh, we got no three dimensional characters we got all two dimensional characters in that movie in my opinion so yes you can do three dimensional movies but I don't see it done a lot so I hope he's able to execute it here um, but Roberts does recall in particular, the search for uh, who's going to play Leon. 
And he says, we must have seen so many people, and it was really quite a tricky role because of the balance with Leon with humor and weariness. And then Avon came in and read for the role, and I said, that's it. He's the one. He gets the character. So this is all I'm going to read in this episode for this article, but I just wanted to you know, show the image there. Again, I'll put up on screen of Avon and, uh, and, and Kaya here as Leon and Claire, and just say that this is what the mindset of the director. So I know people will be out there and they won't agree and they'll say, I don't like the casting or whatever opinions you're going to have, but this is how a director has to look at his film is he has to be like, all right, this is the character of Leon. He has this type of thing. You know, we want to give him a little bit more humor in the movie at times, but we also want him to take things serious when things do get serious. And that's the balance I want for the character. So I need someone to embody that. And then the other Leon stuff will come in. We'll make him a cop. We'll make him a rookie. We'll give him a gun. You know, he'll hang out with Claire. All those things are easy to do. But what we need, the hard thing to do is to bring the character to life. And he believes he found that in Yvonne. And he also believes he found that with Kaya and the other actors and actresses that we're going to talk about uh, tonight. So, uh, you know, throughout these three videos. So I'm willing to give it a shot and check it out. So, uh, and they're also going to interact with obviously Chief Brian Irons, who's going to be played in this film by uh, Donald Logue, who I'm very excited to see what he brings to the table with Chief Irons. So uh, this is cool. I, I just wanted to share this image here and read the words that go with it because I feel like an image is one thing, but context and words are another thing. So I'm one to marry the two together and that's how i'm going to break these videos up so if you like this video give us a like and subscribe and we're definitely going to have two more videos coming up next we're going to talk about the stars members and then in our third video tonight we're going to talk about lisa trevor my favorite resident evil monster finally coming to the big screen i'm very excited to talk about that one as well so let me know your thoughts on this on this image on the words here from johannes roberts like let me know what you think i'd love to hear your opinion down below and as always we'll continue the conversation down there thanks for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in raccoon city Peace.